Alabama continues to be in the top five states in the nation for cervical cancer mortality. We can change that. We can actually wipe out cervical cancer in Alabama in three steps. The HPV vaccination, screening with the HPV pap test, and ensure appropriate follow-up when there's an abnormal pap or HPV result. Over 40% of patients who have an abnormal PAP or HPV test do not return to the doctor to receive appropriate follow-up. These women go on to develop invasive cervical cancer and ultimately die from the disease. In our division, we see roughly about maybe 75 to 80 cases per year, and those are women who have bona fide what we call invasive cervical cancer. But beyond that, we see hundreds of cases of women that have what we call severe precancer. These are women that I would argue are, that are at significant risk for developing cervical cancer during their lifetime. And they don't come in for screening because there may be cultural barriers, there are transportation barriers, or they simply can't afford screening. Two is that they have an abnormal test and they can't get in because they can't afford the diagnostic tests or they have transportation issues or they have insurance issues. And then after that, sometimes the physician or the provider makes the wrong choice and makes the wrong decision and they say that instead of treating the patient, that the patient gets something else or they can't come in and there's a lack of follow-up. And then lastly, they can't afford the treatment and they don't come in for years and then bam, they develop cervical cancer. So there's multiple touch points. I want people to understand it's screening plus diagnosis and treatment. And it's the diagnosis treatment arm that I think that we haven't given it enough attention to that I think that has fallen short for a lot of women in this country. We are the sixth poorest state in the US. So with that being said, when you tell a woman that she needs to go two hours up the road for um, treatment and she's thinking, well, I barely have enough money, you know, for my children or my household expenses. How am I supposed to juggle this? And, and it's really hard for women because we know we're gonna take care of our family before we take care of ourselves. So women were just not getting their procedures done. Cervical cancer follow-up for abnormal HPV pap test involves a colposcopy which is a tool to look into the cervix and take a biopsy of abnormal cells. Nurse practitioners at the Alabama Department of Public Health have been trained and certified to provide colposcopy to patients needing follow-up. Using the EVA system, we are able to take this service to the patients. We had six nurse practitioners to get credentialed as colposcopists, so, you know, we had like a little small army and we started going. We took our uh, equipment and we went from you know, north and south and east and west, and, and we started doing colposcopies. Mobile colposcopy is extremely flexible. It is a phone with a telescopic lens that fits in a bag that can be taken from place to place or from clinic to clinic. We carry our colposcope, stand, and all of our supplies in a bag. This is just basically a telephone. And of course it has this in-depth zoom lens and this high powered light that will come on and shine into the, into the vagina. So you can see the cervix really good. We take a lot of pictures of their cervix. It uploads it to a portal and then we download it into the patient's chart. And then if we see anything, you know, on the cervix, we can take just a small piece of tissue and send that for pathology. We take our services to the patients. Women who could never go to the colposcopy appointment in another city due to transportation, finances, or daycare can now get it at the county health department where they had their tests done and where they get their birth control. They have been coming to the same clinic for years so they don't have to leave their comfort zone. We go to them. There are areas in the state that don't have anyone doing colposcopy. By breaking down the barriers of transportation and reducing the need for childcare and travel cost, we are able to increase follow-up. We are able to take a picture and then show the pictures to the patient explaining the results. Once you show the patient, then it really makes it more real to them. They take ownership of their help and are more likely to follow recommendations. As a nurse practitioner, I find it very rewarding and I like it. I have found multiple cases of cervical cancer. It's like putting the puzzle together, the big picture. Instead of only doing the HPV pap test, now we get to see the results, get the biopsy, and make a diagnosis, taking it full circle.
it makes you a better practitioner. It's really beneficial for my patients, especially I identify with them being a Hispanic myself. I used to be in their shoes. When I came to the state 33 years ago, um, I knew very little English, so I know how it feels to go in a place where you are not able to understand each other. It's a wall in between because you try to communicate with them, they're not giving you the information that you want in a way that you understand, especially talking about cervical cancer. Uh, you have a diagnosis, you don't understand exactly how serious it is, you can have severe consequences. When you explain to them in the same language, in a way that they understand, they will be more willing to come back and do the next step of care. So I think it's very beneficial um, for me to be present and, and of course uh, it's very rewarding for me to be able to help them. Since we've started taking the, the procedures to them, we are seeing women that has been needing a, a colposcopy for years, but they just never did it. So I think it's, it's just been a, a great program for the women in the state of Alabama. It gives me the opportunity to put into practice my skills for the patient's benefit and for my benefit. I enjoyed the training and the classes. In order to provide colposcopy, nurse practitioners need to take the ASCCP course and be proctored by a physician for a period of time before they take the test to be credentialed. If you're interested and you want to do it, you can do it. Go into class to learn the basics and then you have hands-on training where you can learn. But you're never left on your own. It's scary doing any kind of procedure you've never done before. But also with cancer, you don't want to miss anything. You keep thinking, what if I miss something? But you'll be fine. You can send the picture easily to the physician and collaborate to determine the next step. You are not alone. There are so many areas and pockets that don't have providers or gynecologists. There's so much need for help, so many opportunities to increase follow-up and reduce cancer by bringing colposcopy to these rural areas. We are all in this together. We want all women to benefit. Go for it. There is no reason not to.